Welcome, Holdings, to more Neverwinter Nights 2. We are here talking to Mephasm. Greetings, my friend. And not this guy again. Ah, Tiefling, you come at last. It wasn't my idea, trust me. You don't sound surprised to see me, or us. My dear, if Bathor really teaches anything, it is that everything has happened countless times before, and the resolutions are just as predictable. And blood does attract blood, after all. There is power in such things. The fact you're here is a strange coincidence. We are not meeting again by accident. I assure you, random chances of friction to the eternal dismay of the Tanari. You find me bound once more against my will. This time my cage is larger and more secure. I don't care about any of that. If you can't help me, then fuck off. Wait, if you ever wish to leave this place, you must get into the laboratory, which lies at the center of this area. You see the portal in the corner? It allows me to summon servants from my home plane should I wish it. The others have similar portals in their rooms. It is possible for me to subvert the portal's power to allow it to other things, like take you into the laboratory, but my power alone isn't enough. You must convince three others to help you. This will be no easy task, as the other fiends here may attempt to thwart or manipulate you. Fine. Do whatever it is you need to do. By the way, how the fuck can you help? I've done what I can. Go quickly and be on your guard. Seriously? You want me to go through this fucking portal? We need more demon dicks. More demon dicks in my life. I like demon dicks like. And just when I was oh, growing bitch. tired of the Jero blood, a new vein appears. How. how did I get here? My dear, this entire haven is tied to the Jero bloodline. I imagine you got here exactly how you entered. The ones I came with, where are they? Around, no doubt. Probably not having as easy a time as you, I expect. But let us chat for a moment, you and I. There is so much we should discuss. Oh shit. Alrighty. Let's do this demon shit. Uh, this does not feel like adventure. There we go. Holy demon balls! <laughs> it steps forward to let me see it more clearly. Bandor demon, be careful. One wrong answer, and you won't get to ask another question. Just stay calm. Don't let him get you. What is this thin blooded thing I hear? It's flesh reeking with stench of the Basatua. Is it female? It must be. It is too weak to be otherwise. Weak? Weak? That's a laugh saying that? While I'm out here and you're trapped inside that summoning circle, you have with a Tenari hang liquor. Ah, hells! Why oh, think spawn words make it superior? It's a small drop of evil, a random and hissing blood fly only. Weak as a basatu. Weaker as a female. How did you get here? Did they lure you with the promise of a dozen goblets of blood on a silver platter of all centuries? If so, I hope that circle fits you nice and tight, you bone gnawing, ichor drinking glutton. I think a few more taunts may suffice. What can this demon do to us after all? Gaining influence from Nishka. Ha! So there, thinking you can be mean and yet. Yell at me about being weak, and you can't do anything but talk. Humph. The half breed is obvious, but it is who orders the half breed. It's a pit squeaky voice, so much like a female, but also like many of the lesser mortal races. Is it female? Does it really matter? It must be very dumb not to know if it is female, 
I will trust that it is not female despite its frail appearance and shrill voice. Why does it come before me? I need your help opening the portal so I can get into the laboratory. What it asks is not simple. It entreats me to use my power, weakening my position, and the female devil Hezebel will gain advantage. Hezebel must obviously be weakened before I agree to his request. This preserves balance. So what do you need me to do? You must make enemies with Hezebel and slay all her hateful servants. I will open the path that it may go forth and exercise my will in such things. Very well, I'll slay the enemies for you. Shit, okay. I don't really know what the hell's going on here, but I'll wing it. Alright, so we gotta get these demons to try to help us out here. Many different ways to do this. I don't believe you. My dear, what you believe hardly matters. You were reached here, did you not? I would think that was proof enough. So I can travel anywhere within this sanctuary? I can rejoin those I came with? Eventually, yes. It may require some practice. But you may find travel here erratic. This entire place has many locks and seals. Their power drawn from the demons and devils caged here. Finding the right path may take time. But the others can't? Can't say that's sad to hear. They will have a uh, more difficult time. Yes, I think they will soon envy you when they discover the power you have. Go on, set your will to it. See what you are capable of. Imagine traveling elsewhere within the Haven and... And so the chase begins. Not a moment too soon, it seems. More guests are about to arrive. Hulkmail, you have nothing to fear from us. Our mistress would wish to speak with you. Very well, lead on. They may want you to follow, but don't trust them. Arrhenius saw masters of seduction and manipulation. <laughs> Let's just see where this leads. A wise choice. Follow me. Gonna search this room, bitch. Come on. What? Months of masterful wizardry what? and everything there with him. So obviously a recipe book for the ring of wizardry and Kosu's belt of priestly might and glory. The height of his first appeared in Harua, the end of the time of troubles, which the wizards took as a sign that. Mistra had returned. The power of the priestly might and warding grants its wear protection from attacks and increased strength, and further allows them to create a magic circle against alignment once per day. This particular belt is inscribed with the holy symbol of Gossel. Unusable by neutral. Yeah. Oh, fuck, that's interesting. I don't know if 
is that great because he's got just gonna give him one more strength. Because it doesn't How really need strength. She's already got the Mistrin Belt of Priestly Might, which gives her four. I guess we'll just hang on to it. Yes. Yeah. Follow me. He doesn't have to belt it off. Fuck. Follow me. Here you wear it. Oh, you can't. You're not neutral. You're an evil bastard. What? Mortal trespasses, dearest Hezebel. They come from Baal the Bissam. So Baal the Bissam has enlisted the last species to do his bidding. Tell me, what task did he set you for? He wanted me to kill your sisters in exchange for his help in opening the portal to the laboratory. Interesting. And what do you intend to do? I'm going to wait. And see if you have a better offer. Very wise of you. I happen to know just the thing. I've heard that when you upset Baal's Bazaar, really infuriated, he'll blurt out the true name of his abysmal matron like it's a curse. I would know this name. You'll discover it for me, of course. And why would I do that? Helping me can have its rewards in the near term. If you're able to discover Baal Bazaar's secret, I'll agree to help you gain access to the laboratory as a sign of my affection. A favor for a favor, then. Excellent. You've made the right choice, mortal. <clears throat> yeah, I'm not sure I can taunt this guy. It tries to anger me. Make me speak without thinking, but it fails. I will speak no more with it. I just have to kill this bitch. The true name of Balbison's matron is Bison Bow. Incredible. We've made a civilized agreement to pact and you attempt to deceive me. Sisters, slay them. Play with the entrails while they watch. This is most. It's not gonna happen, hooker bait.
Holy fuck balls, it's arrows. Everybody, follow me. What? The Northern Four Adventure Intro. Northern Fall is the name of a band of adventures that have each gone to become key citizens of the Sword Coast, led by Nasher Alagondon. He became Lord of Neverwinter. The group also consisted of Dumal Erudon, who belonged to found and watch over Helmsborn. Ophala, Cheldra Storm, matron of the fucking Moonstone Mask, who was thought to be an important figure among the mages in the Mini Star Cloak, and Cuth, who has become a high captain of Luskin. The band adventured together successfully for many years and spawned many tales in their adventures around the region. One popular tale depicts the successful rescue of Black Raven Tribe from the Foul White Dragon. As a symbol of gratitude from the tribe, Nasha was gifted with a noted Neverwinton Morrigan as a debt child. The fuck does that mean? The success of the troop eventually came to an end with the leadership struggle between Nasha and Kurth. Fala was torn between her love for Kurth and her loyalty to Nasha, but after Kurth left, Ophala settled in to Neverwinter, unwilling to compromise her hatred to Luskin and its arcane brotherhood. Many assume that she still bears resentment against Nasha for the way things turned out. Regardless, Nasha and Arad have remained close, and Ophala still serves her lord loyally. The same cannot be said for Kurth, who's joined forces with an army that would love nothing more than to see Neverwinter destroyed. Ah, oh, the Unreason has been vanquished, and their tortured scream still rings sweetly in my ears. It has done well, and as we agreed, I shall provide it with my assistance. Alright, we got two of the four demons that we need. And what is this? Step forward, little tool. Let Koroboros look upon your features. Ah, a gift. After all this time, I am touched. Tell me, little one, how did you get here? I... I'm not sure. A demon has told me I could travel anywhere in this place. And suddenly I was here. Blood powers this place, girl. Now, here you are of your own free will, and the balance shifts. What balance? This place is powered by the presence of the Beata Zoo and Tannery held here. It is what permits you to travel as you will, and grants power to the one who commands us. And who is that? A powerful wizard, one whom your friends have hunted for some time. He has thwarted your efforts time and again. He is lord and king of this place, one forever linked to Shadow. I think his name is already known to your friends, and perhaps you as well. The king of shadows is here? But... Then he better be prepared for a beating. The ones I'm here with? They're not the nicest of people. I think your King of Shadows is in for a surprise. My dear, as long as we remain in our summoning circles, the one who commands us will rise from every defeat anew, more powerful than before. And that does not bode well for your friends. Doesn't sound like it. What the fuck is that? My elder ass, right? Okay. Tank! Something for you, Ice Method, sons of bitches. 
I fucking feel. Yes. Got that elder vampire in the house. How can I help? What? The night thief's claw. The Night Thief was a vicious assassin who specialized in fighting with two weapons. His claw was an evil-looking blade with the magical ability to send shocks into his victim, increasing the damage and pain felt. The Night Thief disappeared recently after he was accused of killing a relative of the new regent, Cormier. Burns on the victim's face and throat were consistent with the Night Thief's style. It's a 1d6 short sword, a d6 of electrical, plus two enhancement. It gives two weapon fighting. Maybe Bishop eventually? I don't know. He's my bowman. Very well. Found only in the meteorites in the rarest veins of the magical areas, adamantine is an ultra hard metal that uh, adds to the quality of the weapon. Dwarves love to work on this shit. sold and the advanced canary of personal defense uh, which lets us do a amulets and braces of defense I think I really need that book we'll hang on to that one all righty then King of Shadows can't be unbeatable. There must be some way I can reach him, or my friends. The one who commands us does not entertain guests, and his control of this place surpasses yours. I doubt he knows an insignificant speck such as you is even here. Then I'll get his attention, somehow. Oh, you could try, but I am certain his energies will soon be consumed with murdering your friends. And after that, he will no doubt crush you beneath his heel as an afterthought. A shame. I've rather enjoyed our brief time together. He's not stopping them, and he's not going to get me. And your plan? I'll think of something. Spoken as if time would wait for you, it will not. But you will realize that soon enough. Look at this big fucker. You! You! Vexus can't guess how you got in here! Oh, by the gods, not this idiot again. How dare you speak to Zaxxus that way! Zaxxus will smear you into bloody paste with his hands! He will tell you- Look, as amusing as you hold Zaxxus this and Zaxxus that thing is, that's not the proper way you should talk to people. I mean, by the gods, are you some kind of dimwit? Referring to yourself when you speak is a sign that you're really losing it. Might want to listen to her, Zaxxus. She's had a point. He gained another two influence in Nishka. You hear that? He didn't use his name once when he talked to me. You just wait. The master will come and crush you and give your remains to Zaxxus to feed on. I need your help opening a portal, asshole. So shut the fuck up and help me. What? You want Zaxxus to help you? Why in the streaming hell is when Saxus ever help you? If you help me, I'll put in a good word about you to your master right before I kill him. 
Massa will destroy you when he arrives. He will let you run, but when he grows bored of you, he will crush you beneath his heel. Saxus doesn't want to wait for Master. You don't, motherfucker. And bitch, move the fuck out of my way. Ronstock is running. Perhaps should bear some of my load. Magic misses. They live on green. There's another fucking iron golem. Minions are beaten! His axes will make waste no more time on you! Are you going to help open the port of the laboratory? Now go away! Zaxxus doesn't do what you tell him, little crunchy meatling! Zaxxus will keep his knowledge to himself and watch you see that in silence! My cool fuck you, we'll be back. We'll be back, Zaxxus. What is this delightful creature? Are you a present from our master? He is not in the habit of granting gifts. He will not listen to me. Is there any way to reach your master? No, not for you. And what would you say if you could? Tell him to surrender. I could care less so about how much he gives that monster that came here with me. But I want his attack on the people of the Soy Coast to stop! Monster. How intriguing. Still, you would have a better chance of getting them to listen to you than our master. Is there a way to speak to them? My, you have strong feelings for them indeed. Go on, that should be enough. Simply think of them. Perhaps you can speak to them, but I do not know how long the connection will hold. Oh. And don't teleport around. It will ruin your concentration. Can you hear me? Chandra? This place is sealed by demons and devils. But listen, they say that their lord is unbeatable. Everyone has a weakness. That's what they say, but be careful. I don't think they were lying about this. Killing our master? Oh, it's not impossible. What? I... Humans are so easily distracted. Now I'll have to wait. Ah! Holy fuck balls. Got some hellhounds coming. Yeah. 
Yes. Light. Legend states that the warrior Elysia brought the nameless light from the stars, although other tales claim it was forged by a grieving father, who was the weapon of virtuous paladin. In truth, several such blades exist. They were created with the blessing of the harpers, and each has had many stories from any number of owners. Perhaps that is their true power. They compel people to craft heroes of their own. It's an exotic bastard sword, 1d10. An extra d6 versus evil, plus 5 versus evil, and a plus 2 regular enchantment. Probably gonna get sold. What's this motherfucking mask of the skull? It looks. It's a finger of death, fucker. 13 charges. Recent decision by Art Mage Zas Tom has led to the creation of these masks, which all necromancers in the borders of Thea are required to wear. Those wearing the mask have access to powerful magics, but are also subject to Tom's control. Any wizard caught practicing necromancy while not wearing such mask is killed and turned into a ghoul to serve time and death better than they did in life. Oh shit. I thought that was gonna make me actually look like a cool skeleton or like the mask looks like. Um. But right now I'm getting a plus one extra out of that. I, uh, I'll hang on to this because it's cool, but finger of death, big fucking whoop to do That shit fails half the time anyways. Hammer of the Wisp, a clan of Sperneblin deep within the Sperneblin are, of course, deep gnomes. Uh, deep within the underdog created with the hammers of wisp to guard against vicious drow hunting parties. They hoped to model an item that could erupt with light, slowing or repelling their enemy. They were initially successful with the dark elf group, broke ranks, and not the first time the weapon were used. No record of the deep gnome plan exists after that. However, it is unlikely they survived They survived the drow reprisal. Of course not, they didn't. That's good fun. It's over. I am overburdened. Perhaps you should bear some of my... Mom's day. overburdened, bro. Rainbow armor? This is for flamers. I don't know. This type is not for those who wish to remain anonymous. More often it's associated with tales of vain and bards who have even crafted songs and appearance of rainbow warriors on the battlefield. The protective quality of the multi-hued surface is undeniable, but it's unfortunate the mage who crafted these items was colorblind. Six with a dexterity bonus of one. Yeah. Does it look cool at least? Get that shit off me! I don't want to wear no fucking rainbow armor, goddammit! It's fucking weak anyways, it's getting sold. Follow me! At the rainbow store. You're wearing leather armor plus two? Motherfucker, you we gotta have better armor than that for you.
What? How can I help? immune to uh, death magic and disease nothing wrong with that and some superior fortification rules very well, well take it Visitors? A rare occurrence indeed these days. It's a pet feed. I can never figure these guys out. They're always plotting something. So, mortal, what can I do for you? I need your help opening the portal. Ah, plot to strike at the master, is it? Bold. Suicidal, but bold. I can help any old devil, but as I am sure you expect, I'll require something from you first. My terms are not negotiable. What is it you need me to do? There's an imp who serves as my eyes and ears in this place. I've not seen him for some time. I want you to locate him and see what he's able to return to me. Any idea where he could be? He's a pinch for explanation, so I suspect he may have gotten himself trapped in one of the side rooms of this place. I'll be back when I've found him. Level drain, what the fuck? It's not good. Phrase in a long forgotten language. The book 
contains a list of phrases in the language you don't recognize. Seven of the pages appear detachable, perhaps for the use of scrolls. Use our lore. It's an ancient prayer book of blessings. You're able to decipher the general meaning of the phrases, and what they actually mean remains a mystery. And we'll use our spellcraft. From what you can tell, uttering a phrase from the book has the magical effect of the reader and anyone nearby. However, something has warped the book so that it caused the opposite effect of whatever was intended. Interesting. Choose the opposite of in prison. Free! Thanks! Going away now! Must find more secrets! I don't know, was that was that homeboy's imp or what? in a book and found he was imprisoned. Interesting. Will you show me these phrases? Yeah. Fascinating. You would do well to hold on to that. You may find one of his phrases of you, shall we say. Thanks for the advice. Now the portal. Very well. You have no idea just how much you've helped me. As we agreed, I will open the portal to the laboratory. Alright, just need the help of one more motherfucker. <laughs> Time for a new fight! Succubus is in trouble. <laughs> You're gonna get beat up. Beat up from the street. Thank you. Oh, thank you. Oh, God. He just beats the shit out of women with his hammer. He's a fucking does not care. Bates bitches. Well done. You've earned an audience with me. Watch out, she's a succubus. They bore easily. The things that amuse them well. You don't want to go there, trust me. Or at least I don't. Please, speak and do keep it interesting. You don't seem upset. I've killed your servants. They are fodder. I surround myself with them for amusement, but oh, how I long for a more masculine company. My, what a specimen you are. You might provide an interesting diversion. Don't even think about it. Keep your talons and soul sucking lips to yourself, you witch. Nishka's right. Your charms are wasted on me. Oh, sharper luck. See, might want to look for easier prey next time. Ah, oh, such spirit, a rare quality. But often lacking, especially considering the inherent weakness of your species. Succubi seem pretty weak. I did just kill a number of you. <laughs> they are products of inferior bloodlines. This conversation's beginning to bore me. Say something interesting. There's no telling what I'll do. I need your help to open the laboratory. Is that all? How disappointing. I was hoping you'd want something far more interesting. My eyelids are growing heavy. Talking with you is making me sleepy. Perhaps a little bloodletting shall arouse me. Come, my servants, entertain me. Sure. That was exciting, nearly as enthralling as when Karoboros sows his head towns raining. I have no idea why Karoboros stopped attacking me. I would ask him myself, but I'm trapped in this circle and his hounds kill my messengers of sight. What do you want me to do? Why don't you go see Karoboros? Convince him to send another pack of his hounds against me. Sha! Of course you will. When we return, I'll agree to help you get in the laboratory, which you're con so concerned with. Hurry back. By the time you return... I'll have gathered my servants in preparation for the coming carnage. These fucking demons are annoying. Bo! 
called and sent me to relay our request to you. But now, what feeble plot does she seek to set in motion? Send your pets to attack Blooden. What makes you think I would commit my forces to raid on Blooden with the threat of Zaxxus around the other corner? Succubi are weak. With my help, your hellhounds will win easily. Very well. I will provide you a portion of my forces for this attack. Lead them to victory. Come forth, my pets. You have succubi flesh to feed on. Don't underestimate Bloden. She's a treacherous slut. Oh, excellent. You brought me some entertainment. So which side are you planning to fight on? I'll fight on your side. Fuck it. You got greater tits. Excellent choice. Go fuck shit up. Made me so very happy. I need you to use your power on the portal now. I'm not normally one to honor non binding contracts, or any contracts really, but since you've so entertained me, I am feeling generous. You have my help this time. You're gonna die in there, you know. A pity I won't be able to watch. I seriously doubt it. I am kind of a fucking badass. But thanks for your concern, bitch. Well, looks like we walked into another ambush. Huh? Don't like the sound of that! That would be the alarm. Sneaking around from now on will be a little more difficult. Intruders. Unbidden and unwelcome. Are you prepared to pay the price? I have to fill my beer. I'll be right back. It's time to answer for your crimes. You. How you entered this place is a mystery, but it was a mistake. One which will soon be why you have brought gifts. You carry the shards. And one is even lodged inside you. Interesting. Let me take them off your hands, and from your corpse. Nah, I probably should have rested. <laughs> Summoning a lesser horned demon. The source of my power. <laughs> Looks like you're not so tough after all. King of Shadows, my tail. I kind of expected more of a fight. It can't be this easy. Exactly. I won't do what you want. There's another way. 
There has to be. Of course there is. But the only other way is letting its friends die here, now. You're lying. Chandra. Even you know the truth can wound more than any lie. You and your allies are stronger than I anticipated. But I will bear these indignities no longer. This entire sanctuary is my weapon. All who are trapped here fuel my power. I can harness the energies of this place, bind them to me. I can summon flame from the walls, turn the air in your lungs to fire. And you, you are nothing more than leaves caught in a storm. Did you really think you could face me here and survive? He yeah. feels it. The lives of those others are about to be snuffed out. In moments, the decision of Chandra of Jero will matter not, and Amanjero will have this day. It can't be him. It makes no sense. How did he survive? Where has he been, and why, after all this time? Do such questions matter when death is so close at hand? The wizard they face is blood of Jero. It knows this. As for those you travel with, reach out to them. Feel them die. You can't beat him. The only way to do it is to free the demons. They're granting all his power. Then do something. There's a way to stop him. But it's going to require some blood being spilt. Mine. Then smell some blood, you stupid bitch. There's no way I'm letting you die. Not after all we've been through. Sounds good. What do I need to do? It already knows the blood of Jero allows free travel in this place. So it can travel easily to each one caged. But if it wishes to set us free... To set us free... Shedding of Jero blood is all that is needed. Oh my, and what is this delightful little present? Oh my dear, you've caught yourself. Now why would you do such a thing? Yes, you are almost done. This pain will soon end, and your sacrifice will save the souls of many. Chandra's going bye-bye, looks like. This is the end for you. I will bury your bodies in the walls of this place, and leave you to... to... Uh, what... what... what have you done? No! Tell me he did not just run from us. Oh, he's really making me mad. He's... he's just lucky I didn't beat him when he was tossing me around and snapping my ribs. Oh, we need to track him down and kill him now. Never let a wounded mage escape. I command you, stay. I am your master, your lord. Command me? You command nothing, Jero. But know that it is I who have set your undoing in motion, and with a truth, no less. Whether you die or live, I will see you soon, I think. Return to the circle! It binds you, and through it... A woman has undone you, Jero. As it should be. Don't fret. We shall see you again. I want that guy in my party. He's a fucking evil bastard. Texas is free! Zaxxas will tear you limb from limb, Jero! Then stitch you back together into new shapes with your own sinew! And after that, Zaxxas will cut you and wear your hollowed out skin on my talons! I like Zaxxas. Like Every circle broken, and without me knowing it being done. How? 
Ah, Jero. Just in time to see my departure. I did so want to see your face as I slipped from your grasp. You... who has done this? I must know. By your own blood betrayed, Jero. I would stay and savor your imminent death if I could. But I have already tasted your bloodline, and such a sweet, noble thing it is. Betrayed. But I still have the power to stop it. There is still time. You, answer me. How is this done? You see plots within plots. I command you, answer me. Of all the circles and wheels, plots and deceptions, you still have the audacity to blame me for what your blindness has wrought. I could not have orchestrated such a tragedy as has befallen you, little wizard. I admit a trace of envy winds its way around my heart. Perhaps we shall speak of it in a time not far from now, when you burn upon my fires. But for now, go to the last and see the truth for what it is. Me phasm. What you have done is brave, but foolish, Chandra Jero. You, girl, you did this. My friends, are they? Your friends live. But you will not! You destroyed my summoning ah. circle! Oh shit! Lightning bolt to the twat! You set the deadliest creatures in the lower realms free! Fire bolt to the titties! You have weakened me! And in so Negative doing, energy to the asshole! You have earned death! I know, Grandfather. I'm sorry. I'm so sorry. Oh, thank God she's out of my party. Kill her. Grandfather. Bitch. What is this? It is truth, Armin. And by such truths is one damned. I have no kin. All were killed in the war against the King of Shadows. It's not possible. Blood finds a way, Armin. Always. You lie! You know only Gerald Blood could have broken the circles in this haven, as her blood has now broken mine. There are laws, Gerald, and when one carries such laws too far, they will take you where I go now. Son, shit's getting deep. Look at Bishop, keep getting his asshole kicked. Someone killed Bishop. <laughs> Bishop, you're a dead fuck. I'll see you all in the hells. I'll see you all in the The Pale Master is here! Killed Chandra! Let's gut him! Get up, you Don't cowardly lie, bitch. dog! Didn't like Face her. Us. She was to I said we kill him. Do to him what he did to her. Are you sad, Almagero? Then take comfort in that there are no more Jeros left to kill. No. There is one more Jero. The one who still stands before you. But stay your weapons, your spells, lest this tragedy give birth to another. Kill me now, and this place will collapse. And we will all die. In my blindness, I have done a great wrong. Perhaps it is not too late to rectify it. And where one was lost, I still might save you all. Only a fraction of power remains in my haven. But it will be enough to take us from this place.
wait a minute, this dude helped me out? So Amanjero wasn't dead after all. Glad we made sure of that before running into his labyrinth of demons. Yes, he is alive, and he is much more powerful than Tails ever indicated. More powerful than some wizard, anyway. More powerful than you, Aquara, and you would do well to believe me. So what now? We imprison him? Throw him to the watch? Tell me you're joking. He'll send the entire district to the Abyss, and then he'll come after us. Justice must be served. But I am not certain he would find justice within Neverwinter's walls. We could throw him off the docks! I say we get what we need from him, then take care of him. No one needs to know. He murdered Chandra Jero, and he must answer for it. But we will not answer murder with murder. I'm sorry. I still don't understand what went wrong. Was there no way to stop Chandra from doing what she did? It just... it just... makes no sense. There is no sense to be made of it, Grobnar. Now we must simply accept. It is our leader I am worried about. The will of Amanjero is broken, and this makes him dangerous. But no, it also makes him of use. If he agrees to serve me, I will gladly make use of his power. Know that Amon is the enemy of the Githyanki, and all he has done he has done to fight the King of Shadows. It would be well for us to share words with him. If his knowing becomes ours, our strength increases. Speak to him and see where his allegiances lie. Why did you bring her to my haven? Even though she was of my bloodline, you knew she did not have the strength to survive there. She would have survived if you hadn't killed her! If you had known what you were walking into and left the matter to me, she would be alive and I would still be at my full power. But yes, I bear responsibility for her death. The Jero bloodline now only resides in me. And the King of Shadows, he has won a victory against us this day without striking a blow. What were you doing in Nell Haven? I have fought the King of Shadows before. As soon as I became aware of the threat he represented to Neverwinter, to the realms, I fought him. I have made... packs. I have studied him, tried to learn his weaknesses and the extent of his power. And always it has been a war with few victories. Surely you know of the ritual of purification. You should know that I have performed part of the ritual myself already. Without it, we cannot strike at the King of Shadows, and the battle is lost before it begins. What is your interest in the Shards? The King of Shadows is no mortal creature. He is not human, more a force than anything else. But there is something that can harm him. Those Shards you have, they are part of the Sword of Gith. Kalakcha. Once the King of Shadows was driven back by Gith Yankee warriors wielding hundreds, maybe thousands of those blades. But the Sword of Gith is more than a simple silver sword. It can wound the King of Shadows, like it did once long ago. A part of the blade got lodged in your chest in the battle in West Harbor when you were a child. And whether you like it or not, you are now that weapon. The more shards you gather, the stronger that weapon becomes. Together, we can stop the King of Shadows, and we must. Why should I trust you? Because you have no choice. And because if you know anything about me, you know that all I have done has been to fight the King of Shadows and to protect Faerun from him. I have completed part of the ritual of purification. If you kill me, the battle is lost as soon as my heart stops beating. Without me, you cannot win. Whatever punishments you think I deserve, I will suffer a thousandfold, well beyond anything your small mind can imagine. But I will strike at the King of Shadows before I leave this plane, and you will have no stronger ally than I in this, both in knowledge and power. Serve me, and I will spare you. You have defeated me in my lair, and I am weakened. I have no choice. 
The tactics you used are the sacrifices this war requires. Regardless, we must gather our forces against the King of Shadows. Even now, his presence is extending from the Mayor of Dead Men. The High Road has become impassable. My scouts, now vanished, reported legions of shadows and undead stirring within the Mayor, and a sphere of darkness expanding from the heart of the swamp, killing all life it touches. We cannot stop him alone. With my powers weakened, my demons are no longer bound to me. You will need an army to face him. I am an army. All right, so apparently we can have Amanjero join our group now. And he's a neutral evil warlock. He is a perfect fit for this party. He will be a good replacement for Chandra. You and only you. Your companions are to wait here. And what does the great lord of Neverwinter want with me? The business of our Lord Nasher is his to say, not mine. You are expected to heed his wishes, not ask more questions. Lord Nasher's request cannot wait, and you will make haste to Castle Never. If not, this keep will have a new knight captain before twilight. Oh, snap! That does not be a threat! I spoke hastily. The loss of Fort Locke worries me greatly, and I fear this keep shall be next if steps are not taken. Do what you will. But I respectfully suggest you heed Nasher and see him at once. Oh, uh, uh, it's you! The captain of Crossroad Keep! I've been waiting for some time. I bring you greetings from Lusk. Not now. The captain has urgent business. Whatever you need from him can wait till he returns from Neverwinter. Uh, yes, well, I'll, I'll be um, waiting anxiously for your return. I hope someone kills you before I do return, you pale fucktard. Oh shit. Act three, baby. Here we go. There is a growing darkness to the south, and Crossroad Keep is our best hope to stopping the army of the King of Shadows from reaching Neverwinter. Your keep will play a great role in the war to come. We are still awaiting word from the defense of Fort Locke, but we fear the worst. But the tidings are not all ill. Lord Nasher has prepared something for you, for all your efforts on behalf of Neverwinter. Here. These are yours to wear and to wear proudly. It is the garb of knighthood, and soon Nasher shall make you a true knight in his service. What? I want to be a fucking knight. About time someone recognized my efforts. As the days grow darker, the need for heroes grows greater, and Lord Nasher wants master. to recognize you as one of our finest. It is you who have built the keep into the force that it is. It is your name that is echoed on the lips of the men and women here. Even Sand has been known to say a kind word or two about you. What you wear is merely a cloak until that time. But you will find it carries with it special enchantments you may find helpful. Some of the finest mages and weavers of Neverwinter have crafted these cloaks. They should afford you some measure of protection while wearing them. The rest you will discover for yourself. The ceremony will take place in the Great Hall. We have gathered together many nobles from all over Neverwinter. Come now! Let us make our way to the antechamber outside the Great Hall. Lord Nasher awaits. Your companions, the people you have assembled in Crossroad Keep believe in you. And through you oh, believe shit. in Neverwinter. It is no small thing you have done here. This bitch. Is that... Gods, it's the ancient alarm! I never thought I'd live to see this day. We are under attack! <laughs> they are here for Nasser. We must get to him at once. Why am I wielding a sword? Ceremonial sword of Neverwinter. This beautifully decorated sword 
made of shiny alchemical silver, can trace its original design back to the founding of the remote house. Never crafted blades identical to this one, but the nine original knight swords such as these are given to those soon to be dubbed knights of memory. The knights to be present, the sword to their lord, present the sword to the lord who then use the sword to knight them. And these ceremonial swords are generally hung upon the walls as a trophy or a badge. These things are fucking shit balls. Where the fuck do I want this? I'm a goddamn crossbow. Mommy Lord! <laughs> Prepare to become one with eternity. Oh man, this shit is already fucking undead. I shouldn't be fighting undead. I'm, I am undead. Fucking help fight! How shitty are you guys? There's my elite vampire. Oh no, this guy's against me. Oh fuck! Awesome. What the fuck is this bullshit? Like, I, I'm a fucking mage. I have no chance of taking out all this fucking undead, you dumb mother fucking cunts.
We need to reach a more defensible location. There is a guard room in the hallway around the corner from here. Shit. There we can make our stand. To the guard room. Follow me. Follow my dick. Dynasty. Strange as it may seem, the item bears mark as it identifies the equivalent of a courtly dagger. Though it's obviously adapted from a symbol of farming implement, the leader who sponsored the creation of this and similar weapons likely began life in the field, which suggests a rise of power quite outside traditional bloodlines of royalty. Resistance to all kinds of shit, a plus one enchantment. We go in the bag and we fucking sold. So this piece of dog shit. Good, because I need fucking spells. Everyone into the guard room now, quickly! We've got an extended episode going on here, folks. The castle has been sealed. It is part of the ancient defenses of the castle should it ever be attacked, something we thought would never happen. Unfortunately, it has cut us off from Lord Nasher. You must get to him or all is lost. Break. Lord Nasher can rot. I say we make an escape while we can. There is no escape until we reach Lord Nasher. If he falls, then we will be trapped in here until the oh, attackers come for us. Running. Then we will truly be doomed. If you want to save yourself, then go to the hall and search behind the tapestries there. One of them should hold an entrance to Neverneath, the chambers beneath Castle Never. Neverneath has always been closed to us, but it is said when the castle is in danger, a path opens for defenders of Neverwinter. Make your way to Lord Nasher's side. We will try to be there as soon as the defenses are lifted.
this place in the hallway. Son, Goddamn vampire go. What the fuck kind of bullshit is that? What the fuck is your target so bad? Invincible. Oh, fuck yeah. Your mother's a whore. Goddamn fucking fag tard. Go to the hall and look behind the tapestry. Fuck you, I'm rusty. Who the fuck is my goddamn fucking vampire? Thank you, hello, let's go. Bitch.
Save me a book, Green. Finish him! God damn, come on, motherfucker, it's a rape. Holy fucking bullshit, man. Near death? You sure about that? Retards attacking each other. <laughs> Prepare. shit. Ah. What the fuck was that shit? Something ain't fucking right. I ain't supposed to be fucking doing this by myself. There's no goddamn fucking way. What the fuck is this shit? This fucking cocksucker motherfucker. Oh, 